Hi, this is Brian Markman, and welcome to another Logic Pro tip. So in this tip, I want to talk about a technique that you can use for sound replacement or sound reinforcement in Logic. Now, a lot of times you may have a piece of audio where the performance is really good, like the timing, but something about the overall sound quality is not, and you either need to replace the sounds that are in it in the same timing of the performance, or you need to uh, be able to layer and sort of reinforce what you've got. So in order to do this, there's a bunch of plugins you can use, but I wanted to show you a technique that involves um, two different functions inside of Logic that come with the program that you can then use for a whole variety of uh, applications later. So you'll notice right now I've got this, um, this simple little kick track, and it's just kick drums going across here. And on another track, I've got an individual kick drum. And what this, this is representing is the kicks that we're not happy with, along with the new kick that we want to use to replace it. Now to do this, we're going to use a function that's similar to something we've seen in another video, where we're going to move around by transient. And what you'll see is, as I move around, forward and back, it looks just like what happened uh, when we use our marquee tool going forward and back. The difference being that now I'm moving the playhead. This is going to become important because we have a function we can use that will actually snap whatever's selected to the playhead. And we're going to use that to line up each of these new sounds with each of these old sounds. So in order to do this, let's go into uh, our keyboard shortcuts and see what's going on. So I'm going to hit Option K. And this is going to bring in all of our key commands. Now this is important because these key commands represent everything that's possible inside the program. So the first thing I'm going to need is something called transient, forward or rewind by transient. And you can search for anything you need by using the search uh, field on the right hand side. So I've already mapped these and if they're not mapped, mapping is pretty easy. You can choose learn by key label or key position learn by assignment, and then you can just hit a key. And uh, if you look in your manual, it'll explain the difference between these two. It's a pretty simple concept. So the next thing that I'm going to use is I'm going to use something called pickup clock. And what pickup clock does is pickup actually moves whatever's selected to the playhead position. So by using my first uh, hotkey, I'm going to move around by transient. And by using my second hotkey selection, I'm actually going to move to that same position on a different track. Now I'll show you what I mean. So by using that first hotkey, and I have mine set to control and the up down arrows, I'm actually moving around trying to determine where I want things to snap to. And then on the other track, I can snap exactly to that thing. Now in order to do this one quickly, I'm going to make some copies of this kick just to make it easy for myself. So I'm going to use Command R to make some copies. And I'm just going to do, say, six copies. Really, really easy. Now what I need to do is just go back using my arrow keys I can move up and down to travel between these two tracks and that immediately gives me the ability to move around either between uh, individual transients inside of this region or between individual regions that I want to snap. So now that I've got this top track selected I'm just gonna move over to my first one and this is the beginning of the song so this one's pretty easy. Go down to the second one here and I'm just going to snap it. Then go back up, select the next one same thing and snap it. And you'll notice that this pattern is very, very easy. It's designed to be. It's designed to be really as fast as you can develop the muscle memory to do this. And you'll notice that using the arrow keys as I'm scrolling through is allowing me to decide which individual region I'm controlling on this bottom track. So I don't have to use my mouse at all for this. And you can also scroll in either direction, forward or backward. So as you could see, it was faster for me to move uh, from the first region backwards. So I just did that. So as you could see, I've already lined up all of these individual um, transients at the top with the regions at the bottom. And because these are lined up perfectly, cut on the zero right at the beginning, I know that I don't have to zoom in to see them because that's how I chose these samples. So what we've seen is, in a very short amount of time, we have this function, these two functions, the, the forward and reverse by transient and the pickup clock, move events or regions to playhead, that allow us to select and then move large volumes of things very quickly. And the cool thing about pickup is it's, it's not just individual things. I can grab everything, move it all at once. Really, really powerful. So hopefully this was a good tip for you. I'm Brian Markman. 
See you next time.